Hey guys, I'm sure you guys have seen the thumbnail, so you know what I'm about to show you, but ta-da! I have a Chawa, I hope I'm saying that right, cake squishy, and you guys have been telling me that this is the squishy to get. So, I got it from a Japanese seller. I know that this is from Thailand, and I feel like they don't have an online shop. I I, I'm still a little confused about all the squishies and rareness and stuff, but this arrived in the mail and this is the most expensive squishy I have ever purchased. I'm sure the price was raised a bit because it's imported, but I paid 2,800 yen for this. That is almost 30 US dollars. That Chawa sticker is amazing. So shiny. It's hollow, guys. And there is a label, well kind of label, the cake holder on the bottom says do not eat. It smells like grapes. Oh my goodness. So first impression, the colors are so bright and colorful. Let's take it out. I can already feel how soft it is without squishing it. Feels like it's just gonna like melt, dissolve in my hands. So there's the squishy. It's textured on the bottom. Oh wow, it even has the logo. It says Chawa. I don't know if you guys can see because my lights are kind of bright. It says Chawa, it's rainbow, rainbow, and it's so soft, I haven't even squished it yet. I kind of don't want to squish it because I don't want to get it all wrinkly, but I will do it. Enough talking. That is so soft. What? Can you guys see this? That is amazing. You can kind of see it on the side better. I don't even know if that's rising. I think it's just going to stay flat like that. How do they make this so airy? Look at that. I can just make it into a squished up ball. Can you imagine being the person who works at the squishy factory who has to squish test all the squishies? I would love that job. So it doesn't really make much sound. Because it just stays flat. Look at that. I could flatten this like a pancake. <laughs> Look at that. The only bad thing is you have to wait forever until you can squish it again. The texture though, it's so soft. I don't even know what to compare it to. It's softer than a marshmallow. I almost want to say it's like clay. That is amazing. You can even shape it. I love it. And look at the little tag. So is Chawa this little dog? It's so cute. And that's actually all I have to show you guys today, but you've been telling me to get the rainbow cake since I started making squishy videos recently, and this is crazy. And I finally found it from a Japanese seller, so I didn't have to pay shipping. That was great, but $28, $30 for a squishy seems like a lot, but what do you guys think? Is this squishy worth it or not? I'll leave a poll at the top of the screen, and you guys can click it. I guess it's up here. I'm all turned around because I'm upside down, but yeah. It doesn't even matter how fast you let go because it's not going to rise. Look at that. That is crazy. I love it. I can't stop touching it. I might... I don't know if I like this or the eye bloom squishy better. Hmm, what do you guys think? If you have both. I'll have to do a squish comparison video. Oh, that would be fun. Anyway, that's all for today. Let me know what squishy I should get next. And I'll see if I can find it here in Japan. And I will see you guys next time. Bye! Hey guys, today I have a new squishy! I actually got this squishy a few months ago, but I totally forgot to film it, so here it is, and it is... Okay, 
I won't lie. I actually don't know too much about the squishy. I found it on Amazon Japan and it was a imported squishy from a squishy shop that imports squishies. That was easy to understand. And I actually thought I was getting a yellow one or a pink one because that's what the photo showed. And it didn't really let me pick any colors, but then this blue one arrived. So I was very, very surprised. But apparently this squishy is very, very soft and squishy. So let's check it out. Oh, there's a little tag on here. It says for age over six years old, material PU polyurethane cannot eat made in China. See, there's the yellow cake and then the brown one. So this color was new to me. I have seen this squishy on Instagram, but I don't know what the official name is or who makes it or anything. It's super soft, guys. Okay, I haven't done the first official squish yet. It feels like a marshmallow. It is a layered kind of like a shortcake, and there's some strawberries on top, some whipped cream, and then the blue sponge. It's not colored on the bottom. That's too bad. It's so soft though. I want to give it a real squish in a second, but first let's squish the strawberries. I think this is going to be super slow rising. You ready? The first squish! It doesn't even rise. This reminds me of the Chawa rainbow cake, except I think this may be even more squishy and soft. So I don't think that is even rising. I guess it is slightly, but I'm just going to squish it all in. Look at that! It just kind of folds in on itself. Okay, I'm going to let it sit here. I'm just going to squish it as flat as I can, and then I may fast forward it. Well, that took forever, and I don't know if it completely is back to normal yet. I must say that it is very soft, but at the same time, it takes so long to rise that you have to wait to squish it again. Let's squish it from the side. Let's see how flat we can make it. Now it looks like a slice of cake, kind of. And it's back to normal. When it's squished in like this, it reminds me of, you know, those monsters you see or like, you know, the scary fish with all the weird teeth in their mouth. I guess there are fish like that. I don't know. Doesn't that look like that? It looks kind of creepy. But yes, um, how much did I pay for this? I don't remember. I got it so long ago. I want to say I paid about 30 US dollars. Again, one of the more expensive squishies. And... If you're into slow rising squishies, it probably is worth it, but just a little bit too expensive, maybe. Anyway, I've been kind of busy lately, so I haven't really been able to look for new squishies, but now I have a little more free time. So if you guys have any suggestions, if there are any new squishies out that I should be checking out, let me know because I am so behind on the squishy news. Also, let me know if you own this squishy and what color you own. Let's give it a good squish. I think I like the Chowell Rainbow Cake better, just how it looks, but this one is super, super soft. Anyway, I was thinking next week maybe I would do a small squishy collection. It's not that big of a collection because I just restarted collecting this year, so I don't have a lot of the squishies that I used to own, but... I thought it'd be fun to kind of look back on the year and see what squishies I got and compare them all. Let me know if you think that sounds fun. Give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment down below and let me know what your favorite squishy is or what squishy I should maybe think about buying next and I will see you guys next time. Bye! Hey guys, today I have something very special. It came in the mail from Amazon and I'm super, super excited. So if you read Japanese, you can see what it says here. And, I'm sure you guys already know what this is, but I'm going to open it up and we'll check it out together. It's a little piece of cardboard to make sure I don't cut the squishy. And, ta-da! Here is the I Love Peach. For some reason, I was expecting a bigger squishy. Now, you guys are going to have to tell me if there are different types. You guys told me if I wanted a good slow-rising squishy, I should get the iBloom Peach. 
I just took a peek at YouTube and it does look like there are different sizes of peaches and different packaging and stuff, but I think this is a legit one because it has the iBloom link and stuff on here. It says Mashudo. I love peach. I don't know, but let's squish it. Oh wow, it is super slow rising. Oh wow, it smells like a peach. I can smell it from here. So there is the first squish test. And I know some of you guys don't like it in the packaging, but some of you do. I personally like the plastic sound if it's not too much, but I think I'm going to take it out. And it looks like a real peach in this wrapper. That's so cool. So it's super smooth and silky. I don't think I've ever had a squishy this smooth. Oh wow! It almost feels like jelly. Okay, let's do the squish. Oh, that is amazing! Okay, you guys were right. This... Is this even foam? I love it! You can see it from all the angles. <laughs> it gets super wrinkly though. I don't know how I feel about that. Let's do it from this side. It smells really good. The color is really pretty too. I won't lie, this was not cheap. I think I paid 2,200 yen for this on Amazon. That's about 22 US dollars. And I feel like there's a larger one. I don't know, maybe it just looks larger on camera, but you guys need to tell me all about the eye bloom squishies because I saw they had donuts, chocolate bananas, and breads and stuff, but you know, because of the price, I couldn't get them all, but you guys suggested getting a peach, so I started off with this. It's very pretty, almost has a metallic shine to it. That is definitely a new type of squishy to me. Squishies have really changed over the years. I really don't know what to say. I love this. This is amazing. Thank you guys for suggesting this. I know they had two colors, but... Now you guys need to tell me if there's a bigger one, because if there is, I want it! Let me know in the comments down below what squishy I should get next. I'll leave a poll up here so you can vote there too, but if it's not up there, you can comment down below, of course. And please subscribe if you like this video. I know I'm kind of a newbie to squishies, but I'm learning. I'm slowly learning, guys, and I am in love with these. So, thanks so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye! Hey guys, today I have some new squishies! Da -da! Those aren't squishies. And I got these from a shop on Nakuten, which is a Japanese marketplace website. I believe these are remakes. I could be wrong. I know they were around back in 2011 or 12 when I did collect a little bit. But I had not seen this design before, and I think the melon pond design was super rare or something. So I didn't get the brown bun, but I did get these three. What are you doing? So I thought we could squish them together. This is definitely a remake because it says 2016 down here and it's 780 yen plus tax. These did not used to be this expensive. Okay, Mr. Panda, are you ready? What? For the squish. They're not super slow rising, but they're very airy. <clears throat> so can I punch her? Ooh. That was a little more slow rising. Maybe it depends on the squishy. I don't like it when you know you squish this. Uh -huh. There is no the sure. wrinkles. Yeah, I don't like that either. But squishies are to squish. Apparently. Yeah. I think they're about the same, but the white seems to be a little more softer, slow rising. So let's take them out of the bag. Aksa! Kusa! Isn't that exciting? Mm. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> so 
Sometimes there are squishies that smell really good, but not these. It's kind of a glue, like rubber smell. Very chemical. Like nail polish remover. Can you smell it? They didn't used to be this soft. This one kind of reminds me of a steam bun. So the back is really textured and nice. I think it's true for all three of them. Let me see. Stop! You're gonna wreck them! I don't want them to tear! So this one kind of has a chocolatey look on the back. This one just looks burnt. <laughs> but here's like a plain bun. It looks like a steam bun to me. It's squishy. <laughs> it's not a squishy. What's this? It's a num num. No, what's this? It's num -num? a collectible. And here's the melon pun. Looks wise, I think I like the melon pond the best. Melon bread. I mean, this one's pretty standard. I love What's the pink. This? It's a lip gloss. It's cola. Wow. Scent. You can't show that yet. I haven't uploaded the video. You haven't? No, it'll go up tomorrow. Guys, you get a sneak peek. Anyway, here are the three squishies that I got. That was kind of a review. Not really a review, but I like the designs. They also had the brown bread, but I decided these three were the cutest, so. Is this the right way to squish this? No, you have to squish it with both of your thumbs and let go. So people can see it rise. <laughs> see it from the side? You can see it from the back? <laughs> <laughs> so I'll leave a poll up here and you let me know which one you think is the cutest. The melon pond, or the plain one, or the pink one? Give me the pink one, Mr. Panda. Okay. Oh, you're putting all the chains back together. Thank you. Let's squish them all at once. <laughs> we'll see you next time, guys. Bye! Hey, guys. Today, I have a set of gachapon, gacha, gachapon toy capsule. But, like, what is the correct term, guys? Like, gachapon is copyrighted by Bandai, Gacha is copyrighted by another company, I don't know what to call them. Anyway, I have a set of little Gacha squishies here. These are all little breads and this is a metal pang. So before you guys tell me that I squish my squishies wrong, I do want to say that there is not just one way to squish squishies. Second of all, I don't like ruining the packaging or the squishy. Like if it has plastic covering like this, it gets all wrinkly and doesn't look nice. And also with squishies, if you, you know, squish them up in your hand, they can rip, they get wrinkly. And while I understand that some people like to squish squishies for like stress relief and because that's what they like to do with their squishies, I see mine more as collectibles, so I like to keep them in mint condition. So I hope you understand when I don't squish all of my squishies the way that you want them to be squished. Anyway, getting back to the different breads, there are five different breads here, and the first one is a melon pod. And this one, ooh, it's a super soft squishy. Now, I have not had a new squishy in quite a long time, but these are super cute, especially because I love foods and miniatures, and this fits into both themes. Now, while I did say that most of my squishies are collectibles, I would love to get one of those uh, soft, slow-rising ones. I would love to squish one of those to death. Next, we have a loaf of bread, and it's packaged like a loaf of bread is here in Japan. It's not sliced, it's just a chunk of bread, and it's a very soft, squishy, as you guys can tell, I think. Since these are gacha squishies, gacha squishies, I feel like I say it different every time. Since these are toy capsule squishies, they were, I think they're 200 yen each, 300 yen at the most, so they're super cheap. And they are tiny, but I just love how cute they look. So, here's a little French toast. Now, they do sell French toast like this here in Japan. I don't know if they do in other countries, but it's basically a piece of bread coated in kind of a buttery, sugary, eggy substance and then packaged like this. So, again, as you can see, this one I can squish a little better without ruining the packaging. It is very, very soft. Next, this is a very Japanese-y one. It is an anpang, which is red bean filled bread. A lot of people, not a lot of people, I shouldn't say it like that. Some people don't like red bean paste. I mean, Mr. Panda. I like it. I think it's good. And I like it in bread. I like it in mochi. And yeah, 
<laughs> you can see the sesame seeds on the top here, so it looks like a real ampang. And they have it textured and colored really, really nicely. I didn't show you the back of the other ones, but even the packaging has like labels and this is really high quality. It's a melon pun too. So here's a little squish for you guys. Probably not as satisfying as you would like, but if you want to squish these, you can buy them yourself because I got these from a Lakuten shop and they do ship internationally. Now, I'm not sponsored, so I don't have any coupons for you or anything, but they have very decent prices. The Gashapons, I think they're even maybe lower than real t retail price. I'm not sure about that, but they have uh, fast shipping and I love it. Finally, we have the Jamupan, and this is basically just a roll with jam inside. It's uh, strawberry jam bread, it says, and it looks like that. Can you guys see? If I squish it on the edge here, you can kind of see how squishy it is. So, these are my little toy capsule squishies, and I kind of let my collection die down, and I haven't really been collecting much lately, but since squishies seem to be coming back in, and there are a lot of new cute ones, I will try to pick up some here and there. So if you have any requests, let me know and keep me updated on the latest squishy news. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Hey guys, today I am here and I am going to open and cut these cute bread squishies. At first I wanted to keep them perfect, but now I've realized that it is my mission in life to do this. Okay, maybe not my mission in life, but let's get started. I'm going to start with this melon bread. I'm just going to cut the bag open. <laughs> I actually have never seen these out of the bag, so that'll be interesting to check out. It's just a little mini melon bread in here. Let's do the squish test. It's pretty slow rising. It's so tiny though. Maybe not that slow rising, but it's a really satisfying squish. Okay, let's open another one, and then we'll cut them all at the end. I'm so nervous. I don't know why I feel so nervous. Let's open the Ampan next. Here's the Ampan. It's even more perfect out of the packaging. It's so tiny. It's very spongy. It's pretty flexible, though. Let's open this guy next, the French toast. This is just basically like a makeup sponge. Next, let's open the Jamapan jam bread. Now, I'm assuming this is just a sponge and there's no jam inside, but wouldn't that be cool if there actually was jam on the inside? It's so soft. This one's actually really squishy. It's shaped just like a cream bun or jam bun. And then finally we have the loaf of bread. I'm just going to snip off the top here. You ready guys? Let's do this. Urgh. Oh, it's not as satisfying as I thought it would be. Still pretty nice though. So, there are my squishies. So this is the ampang and... I'm 100% sure it doesn't, but it should have red bean paste on the inside. Are you guys ready? This hurts. <laughs> okay, I'm doing it. It really does look like the inside of a makeup sponge. It's really dense. So there's the ampang. Which one should I do next? Let's do the cream bread next. This one's pretty soft. They're all the same type of sponge. Next is the French toast. I think this one should be easy to cut because it's just a thin piece. And again, same sort of foam. Next, let's cut the loaf of bread. Which way should I cut it? Should I cut it this way or this way? I feel like I should slice it. Um, let's, let's cut it this way. Oh my 
my poor squishies. And finally, my favorite, the melon bread. This one feels a little bit more soft. Maybe it's because it has paint on top. I don't know. I'm doing this, guys, for you. That's actually really satisfying. Here's what is left of my poor, poor squishies, all cut in half now. I guess I can share them. And I hope you guys enjoyed. I was curious. I did want to see them in more detail up close, so it was fun opening them up and cutting them actually felt really good. So we'll see if I do more of this in the future. But let me know if you've ever cut open any of your squishies and which ones you did and what they were like inside. And I will see you guys next time. Bye! Hey guys! If you have seen the thumbnail photo, you know what this video is about, but... I got some pancake hotcake squishies and these are from a game center in Japan now unfortunately I did not win them myself I tried I found them at the game center and I tried but it was impossible so I went on to Yahoo auctions which is like the Japanese eBay and I ordered these guys and I think I paid $12 for them both maybe it was 15 I don't know but it was about I don't know, I want to say I paid about 6 to $8 each for them. Let's take a look at them. It's very kind of whipply on top. There's silicone whipped cream, some chocolate sauce, plastic bananas, and a mint leaf. And they smell so good! It has a very vanilla-y smell, like fresh hotcakes. And the bottom is textured and colored to look like a real quick pancake. And then what you guys want to know is the squish test, I'm sure, but I can't squish it too much or this is going to peel off, so I kind of have to be gentle with it, but it is not slow rising squishy. It is very foamy. I feel like this is the type of squishy that will tear very easily. Here's the other one with whipped cream and the silicone is kind of, it's not sticky, but I feel like dust can collect on it very easily. So you might want to go over it with like a q-tip and some baby powder because that seems to help. And then here's a sauce. I want to say it's probably like a honey sauce, but it looks kind of lemony. And then there are some plastic strawberries. They look very real though. And then of course a mint leaf. I'm sure the pancakes both come from the same mold. They look identical. I think there was a third design, but my game center only had these two and the lot I found online were these two. So. I actually can't remember if there was another design or not. It's not slow rising, but it's actually a pretty dense squishy. I don't want to wreck it. See, it's already starting to rip there, so I'm going to be a little more gentle with it. But I thought these were super, super cute. I don't know what brand they're from. I don't know if it's just the generic Game Center prize or if a certain company makes them, but I thought they were amazing. I love how big they are, so they would make cute little house decorations if you're not into squishies and just want them, but if you're a squishy collector, I think they're pretty cool. I can't stop smelling them, and that's probably not good for me. I suppose those of you that like slow rising squishies or like mashing the squishies, the plastic pieces on top kind of are unnecessary and I kind of feel the same way when it comes to squishies but as a complete pancake stack I think it looks really really good. So let me know what you think. These were just some random squishies I found and I thought they looked really cool and if you know any information about them let me know in the comments down below and if you'd like me to get any other squishies or try to get them I don't know how easy they are to get but if there are any you like and would like me to check out let me know and I will see you guys next time. Bye! Hey guys, today I have a full set of Mochi Squeeze Toy Gachapons, and I've never ever seen these before. I don't know how natural the pink one looks, but it looks like there are six different ones here, and I'm just going to go ahead and open them up, and we'll see what they're like. Here's the first one. I must say, it doesn't smell too good. It smells rubbery and weird. But look it, it's super stretchy, guys. So Mochi is pounded rice, and this is supposed to be Sakura Mochi, so cherry blossom flavored mochi and look at its stretch it feels like there's I don't know it kind of feels like soft candy and wet sand I don't know but look at it. it's kind of moldable
I'm sure this one's the same too, but let's open them all. Here's the round one. It kind of puffs up. Ooh, look, at there's a bubble. I don't know if it's supposed to be like that. You can see something white in there. I don't know what that's supposed to be. I actually think this bubble might be a defect. This one stretches too. I feel like it's going to rip. Next, let's open the brown ones. Here's the soy sauce one, and you can see it has little brown blotches to look like the cooked soy sauce. This one does not have a ball chain. I don't know if it was supposed to or not. It doesn't really seem to naturally go back to its original state. You kind of have to fix it. I feel like my hands smell like kerosene. Here's the square one. It stretches pretty far. Should I try ripping one of these? Like, see how far I can stretch it? Uh, I'm scared. Maybe we can get Mr. Panda to help with that. Next is the normal cooked mochi. This one already has a scratch on it. This one feels a little more dense than this one. Or this one. This one feels super light. I'm sure they have the same things inside. See, it's peeling off. Just little air bubbles. I've never squished real mochi like this before, but I would assume it feels similar. Here's the last one. This is a round one. I know I'm repeating myself, but these smell so bad. It does feel really good, though. So there are the six mochi squeeze toys that I got, and I cannot wait to go wash my hands now. Anyway, that's all for today. If you have any other requests, let me know, and I'll see what I can do, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Hey guys, so something special came in the mail today, and as you can see, it says Halloween. And, I mean, I'm sure you guys saw the title, so you know what it is, but... Ta-da! It is the Mother Garden Special Halloween Squishy Bakery Box. I don't know what the official name is, I just decided to call it that. But, as you can see, there are Halloween colored pastries or breads in here, and a little pumpkin. So, I got this from the Mother Garden website, and I think it was, I know there's a price tag on here, it was 3,000 yen plus tax, whoops, plus shipping. So, I want to say I paid about 4,000 yen total, it comes with little stickers. So that's about 40 US dollars for these six and this super cute box. So I know you guys want to see how squishy everything is and I will do my best at squishing them properly. And I don't know if you can buy these separately or not, but I bought it as a set. Let's take it out of the packaging. If I remember correctly, the Mother Garden squishies are super soft. So let's see if I can do a squish that you guys approve of. I think you guys want to see how slow rising it is, right? I don't know, every time I do a squishy video you guys tell me I'm doing it wrong and I try to do it differently every time. So let's do the poke test, I guess. How's that? I don't know, does that count as slow rising? It feels super soft to me. You guys are the squishy experts, but it's textured and shaded, and I love that. It even has the light ring on the outside. And the icing, I think it is a coating of some sort, but it doesn't feel like it's going to rip or anything unless I go crazy on it. Let's try this way. How's that? So there's the donut. Let's look at these one by one. And, as I said before, there's stickers to put on it, but I don't know if I want to put stickers on my squishies. Let's check the korone next. So it's just a flat surface where the cream's supposed to be, but I love the shading, it looks so real. I feel like the donut's softer. Let's give it the push test. I don't think this counts as super slow rising. There's that one. This is the metal bunk. I'm assuming it's supposed to be a Halloween color. Maybe orange or pumpkin. Hurt. How's that? I 
I don't know if I'm doing it correctly, guys, but it looks cool to me. So there's that one. Let's check the star next. I'm sure this is supposed to be a donut. I love the purple pastel color. This one's a little more dense, maybe because it's a little smaller. Hmm. It's like memory foam. So, there's a star. I am sorry if I'm making some of you squishy lovers cringe, but I'm doing my best, guys. Here's the pumpkin. I kind of want to put the stickers just on the pumpkin, but they are literally just paper stickers, so I think if you put them on, they won't be as squishable. Oh, this one's super dense. It's like one of those um, stress balls. <laughs> I don't know how to show you how squishy it is. There you go. I love how pumpkin-y it looks. I mean, it's supposed to be bread, but it's a pumpkin. I'm not sure what the eyes are for. I'll have to look at the website and the picture. Here is a turtle bun. Turtle melon bun. Ooh, this one feels super soft. They're so cute. So, here are the six squishies I got. I don't, I can't even tell if they're expensive or not. 4,000 yen for six. It's probably a little expensive, actually, because I feel like squishies here average around five to six dollars. The recent San X ones, though, are more expensive, so I don't know. But I would say that they're really good quality with the texturing, the shading, and I approve of the squishiness. Maybe you guys like, you know, squishier, more slow rising ones, but this is probably one of the squishiest squishies that I've had so far. I would love to get one of the super slow rising ones. Anyway, I hope you squishy lovers approve, and let me know what you thought of these squishies, and let me know if you have any Mother Garden squishies. I feel like I haven't seen many videos of them out and about, but they have super cute bakery ones, and I love them. So, let me know down below if you'd like to see more Mother Garden squishies, or if you'd like to see any other types of squishies, and I will see you next time. Bye! Hey guys, so today I have a haul for you, and... Yes, I have gotten back into the squishy collecting craze. So, I have a few that I ordered here in Japan, and ta-da! Back in, was it 2012, when I actually collected squishies, I always wanted these Dirakuma Macaron Towers, but they were rare then. I don't know if they reproduced these or what, but I was able to find these here in Japan, and I guess I'll take it out of the packaging. So they definitely did reproduce these. This says 2016 on the tag here, and it says 600 yen, which is what I paid. I paid retail price, but I believe these used to be cheaper. I think they were like 500, so I will do the squish that you guys want, even though it wrinkles my squishy. I feel like they are, well, actually, I never had my own macaron tower, but I feel like they're softer than they used to be. How is that for squishing, guys? Am I improving? Here's the little Dirakuma one. I can't remember if they had different types, but I just got these two, and I'll leave this here. I won't take the Dirakuma out of the packaging. Here are two ice cream cones, and I fell in love with these as well. I really like Kodirakuma, but I also like mint chocolate chip ice cream, so I got these two. I think they had a Rilakuma, Rilakuma, Dirakuma one too, and yeah, I didn't get it, but maybe I will in the future. So we'll give this one a squish. They're definitely softer than what they used to be. Now these two may look familiar to some of you. I recognize these as well, but I think they're all 2016 reproduced squishies. So I think it's supposed to be Rilakuma and Korilakuma. Korirakuma? I don't know how to pronounce it. But I should say it the Japanese way or English way. But yeah, these should not have any rips or tears or anything because I just got them brand new from the shops. I'll give this one a squish. This one is definitely more dense and not as soft. I have two more here. They had a Kapibara san series. They had a few different ones, but I can only buy so many. This one's coming out of its packaging. I don't see a date on it, but these are all Nick 
squishies or NIC squishies. And she was going to see if I had a tag there. And I got these two ice cream cones because that one looked like mint to me. And this one was just super cute. And I got two of everything else. So I was like, well, I should get two of these too. So I don't really plan on being a hardcore collector, getting super rare ones or anything like that. But I did think that I should restart my collection because there are a lot of cute ones out there. And... I live in Japan, so I guess they are a little bit easier for me to find. So if I find any cute ones, I will show you guys, and if I get them online and they ship internationally, I will let you guys know where I bought them so you can get them for a decent price. I'm assuming since these are reproduced, they're not really rare anymore, but I am in love with this one. This one's probably my favorite, and the little ice cream cones. Anyway, let me know in the comments down below which squishy you like the best, and if you collect squishies. I will definitely keep you guys updated on my latest squishies. I'll post photos on Instagram and maybe my Twitter. I don't know. But I will keep you guys updated. And you guys keep me updated on your latest squishies. Show me pictures and stuff. I'd love to see the cute ones. Anyway, that's all for today. And I will see you guys next time. Bye! I think they're squishies. They're honey toasts. I want the chocolate one and the raspberry one. Ready? Than I thought. Yeah, it is. So this is orange. Let's try again. Which one looks good? I think the raspberry one looks good with the color. Two, three. Two. Hi. Okay, one more. That's all the money I have. Please be chocolate or raspberry or strawberry. One of these three, because I have these two now. <laughs> it's a different color capsule. Chocolate? No. Fine. Oh wait, this is raspberry. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Hey guys, so as you saw, I found a squishy gushapo machine and these are little honey toasts, as I call them here. And I'm gonna check them out. Here's the first one, and let's see, I think this is the orange one, and it is indeed a squishy. Oh wow, it's super soft. So, I don't want to wreck it, but I'm going to give it a squish down here, and you guys can see. It's pretty slow rising. It's pretty soft. Actually, it rises pretty quickly, but what do you guys think? I'll squish it this way. It's kind of hard to tell. But this is also going to peel off, so I'm going to be a little gentle with it. As you can see, it's a loaf of bread, and this is a common dessert here in Japan. I've actually never had it before because it just seems like a lot of bread. It's usually toasted bread. They scoop out the inside, put some fruit and ice cream in. They don't always scoop out the inside, though. Sometimes it's just like a big loaf of bread. But they drizzle it with honey and butter, and I've heard it's really good, but personally, I would prefer cake. So I actually have never had one of these. Maybe that's something we should check out. My friend told me once that when he went to a dessert buffet, they were required to eat one of these each before they could actually get to the real desserts, so I don't know how I feel about that either. Anyway, here is the second one. I think this is the raspberry one. Ta-da! So it has little cabochons of ice cream, chocolate, a mint leaf that looks just kind of like a leaf, and then some silicone and blueberry drizzle. Squishiness is about the same. That one has an air bubble. But there you can see how squishy it is i feel like these are more for decoration than for squishing just because of the pieces on top and i have tape on my finger but there is the raspberry one there's the orange one and then did we decide this one was kiwi oh wait pineapple i can't remember let's open this up Ta-da! so it looks pretty much the same as that one except yeah this one's the pineapple one this one's the orange I think the camera was a little too bright there, so let's see if you can see this better. Here are the three different ones. Let's squish this one. They're all pretty much the same squishiness. It's super soft, though. It's not slow rising, but definitely squishy. Here's the checklist. It's called Mini Fua Fua. Fua Fua means fluffy. Honey Toast BC. I don't know if BC is the company or brand or what, but it's by J Dream. So same people that made the little breads. And the pancake, I guess they make kind of prize squishies. I don't know. 
But here are the different toasts. There is strawberry, raspberry, chocolate, orange, and pine. So I have pine, orange, and raspberry. For 300 yen each, I would say that's pretty decent. Now, I personally would like squishies with nothing on them so you can just squish them. But these are cute little decoration type squishies, I would say. And as a miniature lover, I am loving the shading, the detail, and the texture. I think it's perfect. So in the comments below, let me know what you would rank this squishy on your squishy scale of mm, not so cool to super cool squishy. I'm gonna give it maybe a three out of five. I love how it looks and it's squishy, but it's more of a keychain than a squishy squishy. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will continue on with my search to find cute squishies here in Japan, and I will see you guys next time. Bye! Hey guys, I guess you guys already know what's in the box because you've seen the title and thumbnail, but this just arrived. It's gonna be a super quick video because it's not a lot, but I found these on Nakuten, and I just had to order them. They are the Sammy Halloween cupcakes, and you guys know I'm a newbie at squishies, and you guys are always telling me how I squish them wrong and stuff, but I think these are a good addition to my collection. So, I actually don't have a lot of information about these, and I probably could Google them, but I did not realize that they still made Sammy squishies. I remember when they first started making them, and they were adorable. So, let's check these out. I know you guys can purchase these from some online sellers, and I'll leave the links down below. I got these from a Rakuten site. They were 800 yen plus tax each. And I don't remember squishies being that expensive. I remember them being like 500 yen, but I guess that times have changed. Here's the tag, Sammy the Patissier, Patissie, how we say it in Japanese, but it is the Halloween version. And I'm assuming that these are from this year. Maybe they're older ones, but I saw them and they looked Halloween, so I got them. I've been reading your guys' comments, and some of you guys like it squished in the packaging, so... Oh wow, I think this is considered slow rise, right? Or maybe it's just because there's no air in the packaging. But, okay, so you guys told me to squish it with both thumbs and to let go right away. And that one's still rising. Is this because it's in the packaging? Let's try this one. So, is that how I'm supposed to do it? Correct. I'm assuming that this is considered slow rising. <laughs> and then this one. Wow, that really does stay flat. That's funny. They're really, really soft though. And the designs. So they definitely are Halloween colors. Orange, purple, chocolate cupcake. I love the whipped cream on top or icing. And they are all different colors. So I think that shows how slow rising they are. It's still rising. I do understand why you guys like it squished in the packaging. Anyway, let's take them out of the packaging now and take a look at them. I think Nick knows their customers very well because this is a very crinkly, stiff plastic. So here are the cupcakes and I took the ball chains out because that was the easiest way to remove them. But here they are and I would say that they're decent quality. They do smell a little kind of plasticky or rubbery, but I'm sure that smell wears off as you use them and get them out of the packaging. It is a very, very squishy stress ball. Or squishy. It's almost as if they're breathing. That's crazy. Let's go from the top. Okay, that is so satisfying. Oops, that one's lopsided. Okay, I used to want to keep my squishies in mint condition, not squish them because they would get wrinkles and tears, but now I understand why you guys like to squish them. That's amazing. So, that ends.
ends my Sammy Halloween squishy video. I just love the designs. I think these were the only three. They were the only three that I could find on the website anyways. And I actually don't know if they have other designs or what, but I was just browsing the internet when I was on the train and I was looking at Nakuten shops and I saw these and I was like, oh my goodness, they're so cute. And I suppose these are my first slow rising squishies. I did not realize that they were this soft and slow rising. I definitely like squishing them this way better than this way. Anyway, let me know which design you like the best and let me know if you've gotten any of these yet. I don't know if they're new or if they're from last year. Well, you guys let me know and I will continue my squishy collecting journey and I will see you guys next time. Bye! Today I have three packages from Banggood and I'm assuming they're all filled with squishies. I actually don't know what is inside, so let's take a peek together. Here's the first one. Let's see. I think I need to cut this open. Let's see what's in here. Ooh, it's super squishy. Oh wow, it's a cake slice squishy. That is bright yellow. It smells kinda sweet, almost like vanilla, like a sweet bread maybe, and it is super soft. I love it! I really love the soft squishies. So, last time I did a Bang Good review, some of you guys were saying that I didn't sound grateful or was a little bit too harsh, but this is a review, so I am going to take a look at the squishy, and I most certainly am very grateful to Banggood for sending these squishies to me. So, I just wanted to clear that up. I am very grateful, and I am going to review the squishy honestly. So first off, like I said, it is super slow rising and squishy. That makes it, you know, worth it for me. There are some blemishes on here. I think there are a few specks that are going to come off. That's perfectly fine. And there are a few kind of rips in the paint here, but again, if you're gonna be squishing your squishy, that's going to happen. So I think it depends if you wanna keep this to display or what you wanna do with it. There is a smudge here. Oh, nope. There are a few smudges here and there, but all in all, it looks really good and super soft. Let's check out this pack next. It's another small baggie. I think the items get sent from different warehouses. I think that's why they're like divided into so many different packages. This one comes in some kind of packaging. Oh, it's an ice cream squishy! Again, not too familiar with the brands and stuff, but this says Vlampo, Vlampo, Vlampo. Probably saying it wrong, but. It also says slow rising squishy here at the bottom. Let's open it up. Oh, I forgot to squish it in the packaging, but that's okay. We'll skip that today. This is really cute. So it looks kind of like the Guriko, the what are they called? Capuriko. Yeah, the, like kind of like the freeze-dried, that's not freeze-dried, but the airy ice cream. It kind of reminds me of that shape and then it has like a scoop on top. Though, I don't know if I would eat an ice cream if it actually looked like this. What do you think? What flavor do you think this ice cream is? It's slightly, just very slightly sticky on the cone part, but I think, you know, once I let it air out a bit and squish it a bit, it'll be fine. It's not like it's gummy or anything like that. It is super duper soft. It smells like grape flavoring, a fruit flavoring of some sort. Very pleasant, fruity, artificial of course, but sweet smelling smell. Next we have the big baggie here. Let's see. It looks like there's a bunch of squishies in here. Oh wow, bread squishies! How exciting, look at all of these. I love bread squishies and pastry squishies. I do need to get another case for my squishies though because the one I bought, when was it when I first? restarted collecting my squishies maybe a year ago. I got a small-ish case. It's full and everything's squished in. So I need to get a new one, but let me know how you guys store your squishies. What do you do with them? Because I know some people like to put them up on the wall, and I think that's super cute too. Let's start with the bread slice. It's soft. I would not say it's super slow rising but it is a thin piece, so very spongy. I don't know if you guys can see, but there is a little bit of a kind of a tear or maybe like an air bubble happened here. 
a little bit kind of flawed looking, but other than that, it looks really good. Let's take it out of the packaging. This piece also has a vanilla, like kind of sponge cake smell. Actually, I really like this one a lot. Do any of you guys remember the Aoyama Toast Squishies? The milk breads, I think they were called. They were like pink and green. I loved those. I don't think I ever had one though. Maybe a small one. Okay, I really like this piece. So, the coloring, if we're gonna get technical here, that's a really orange bread color. But other than that, I don't have any comments to make about this piece of bread. Let's check out this, is it a roll? I think that one's a croissant, so. Again, it's super orange. It may not be coming out as orange on the camera because of the settings, but. Oh, look at the back. It's shaded really nicely. And there is a loop if you wanna make it into a keychain and put it on your backpack or something. I actually like the texture of this one too. It's soft, but dense. Next one is this round bun. It's slightly, not even sticky, but I think it's from the paint probably. So that should probably go away after a while. I think all of these squishies are made from the same type of foam or mixture. So they're very similar in density. Let's check out the croissant. I know that they use a uh, polyurethane of some sort because that's what the squishy maker I use is and I'm sure it's just like a different brand or something. I don't know the exact. Oh, that's peeling off. But it depends each time. Well, also because I haven't really had a successful batch of squishies, but I know that it depends on each batch, like how squishy and how dense they are. So like even just a little change will change the texture of the squishy. And then there's this one. It kind of looks like a Danish type bread. I don't know if an actual Danish looks like this. When I think of Danish, I think of kind of the flaky light crust with like fruit on the inside. But we also have bread here with kind of icing on top and we call that Danish bread here too in Japan anyways. It almost looks like a pretzel, but I think it's supposed to be bread. I love the shading. There's texture on the back too. Looks like real bread. This one's a little bit more slow rising on the dense side, I would say. Now we have a muffin. I love that there are so many different breads. Here it is. It looks like a real muffin, except for the fact that it's Cheeto orange. But, oh, this one's super slow rising. Look at that. This is actually making me kind of hungry. I wonder if they take the mold from real bread. That would be interesting to know. Last one is this, what well, looks like cream bread and the little flakies make me nervous because I know that these tend to come off. I already see a bunch on my table here. Yes, they are falling off all over the place. Let me shake this over my trash can. Alrighty then, this is probably going to be my least favorite one just because of how messy it is, but it looks really cool. I don't know if this is supposed to be coconut or powdered sugar, but I really like the shape. I would have liked this without the flakies on it, to be honest. Let's squish it. It kind of looks like a mini hot dog bun. Actually, I think I got a lot of the flakies off. So yeah, this one probably won't get squished as much as the others, but as a set, they all look really cool together. So as always, I want to say a huge thank you to Banggood for sending me this squishy package. This is probably my favorite squishy package that they've sent me. I really like these breads, but I think it's just because I like bread a lot. Anyway, I will leave links to their squishy section down below. If I can find links for these squishies that they sent me, I'll leave those links as well. Banggood has very reasonably priced squishies, so even if you just want to look at their shop, I'm sure you'll have a lot of fun, and I will see you guys next time. Bye! Hey guys, today I received a package in the mail, and this is from Banggood. You guys may be familiar with the shop. My contact from Banggood emailed me and asked if I would like to review some squishies. Now, you guys know I am slowly expanding my squishy collection, so I said yes, why not, and thought I would check them out. Now, I don't know what is in here. I know they're squishies because, look. 
obviously squishies. So let's check out the little bag first. In general, I like the cute character squishies and pastries, so I really hope there's some pastries in here. Here's one, it's a donut, and here is a panda. Neither of these squishies look very familiar to me. I'm assuming this is just an off-brand donut. And this one says squishy fun, but I don't think it's licensed or anything like that. I think it's just a cute one. The one sad thing is though that his eye is already cracked and the packaging looks a little bit kind of used, a little worn. So that is one point. I'll give it a squish in the bag though because I know some of you guys like that. I know some of you guys don't, but don't worry, I'll take it out of the bag and squish it too. It's pretty slow rising, not super duper slow rising, but it's pretty nice. I feel like this guy's already been squished a few times. Here it is, and I don't know if you can tell, but it's little sticky. It is slow rising though once you get it out of the bag. It kind of smells like nail polish remover so this one gets one star out of five. I love the design though. Now let's check out this donut. It is super firm so I'm not sure if this is actually a squishy or if it's just kind of rubbery. The silicone smell because there's silicone inside is very very strong and I think it is foam but it's super hard. Can you guys tell? So there is that one. I still have a whole big bag of squishies though and I don't mean to complain. I'm just trying to give you guys an honest review. Let me pull one out. Ooh, ooh, what is this? It says it is an Eric squishy. That is a name I am sort of familiar with. I don't know a lot about squishies. It also says bread shop. But this says I love sausage, so the packaging and the contents are a little different. This is a huge squishy though. Let's give it a squish. Oh, it's slow rising. Look at that. This one's actually really, really nice. It's not sticky. It has a nice coating. Let's see what else is in here. Hmm. Oh, here's something tiny. What is this? It looks like a worm. Let's see what this is. It really looks like a worm. Oh, I think it is. It's one of those um, squishy animals. It's kind of like a slime, but in a solid form. Oh, why did it have to be a worm though? It looks so real. It's super stretchy though. This is so bizarre. I don't know what it is. Huh. There's still more in here. Let's see what we have. How about this one? Oh! We have a key brew. Key brew. Pumpkin here. And I'm not familiar with this brand name. I don't know if this is actually a licensed squishy. I don't know how to tell them apart. But it looks like a really cute pumpkin. It's super slow rising. Again, the packaging is super crumpled. I'm not sure why it's like that. That is a little disappointing, especially if you're buying to give this as a gift to someone. So looking at the seam here, it's not the nicest seam, but I have seen worse. So I really don't know what to say. It does have the logo on the bottom here and it looks super cute to me. Now you guys probably know more about these than I do. But, look at this. If all you care about is how slow it rises, and how squishy it is, this one may be for you. Look at that. It barely rises at all. I think there's one more in here, so let's pull this out. Oh, it's one of the rainbow cakes, except there's something on it. Interesting. So there's no logo or tag or anything on this one. It is super soft though. It is just as soft as the other rainbow cake I got. Where was my rainbow cake from? Chawa? Is that what it is? I'm pretty sure this isn't a Chawa cake, but it is soft. Look at that. I don't know how I feel about these, what are they, crumbs on top because they are coming off and it does make it harder to squish, 
but I mean, it is extra decoration, so it depends on how you look at it. Look at that though, so squishy. Anyway, here's my squishy haul from Banggood today. Thank you so much Banggood for sending me these. They are all super cute. This one was a little hard, but I especially love these two, especially the pumpkin. I'd never seen this one before. So some of you guys have suggested Banggood to me saying I could get cheap plus plushies, cheap squishies there because I was saying that squishies are kind of expensive here in Japan, especially the imported ones. And you are right, Banggood has super cheap squishies. Now, I cannot guarantee that they are licensed. You guys may have more information on this than I do, but this is my review on how they are quality-wise and squishiness-wise. So I'll let you guys make the decisions. But I will leave the links down below for these squishies that I received, and you guys can check them out and see what other cool stuff they have. I know that they do have really cool dollhouses on Banggood, and I have one that I need to make and hopefully I'll be able to get time to put that together soon, but those are really super cool too. So, thanks so much for watching guys, and I will see you next time. Bye! Hey guys, today I received a package in the mail from my friend Linda, and so this is kind of a very special package. Linda decided to stop collecting squishies, and she asked me if I would like to take care of her squishies. Well, she didn't phrase it like that, but she sent me some squishies, actually. I think you guys can see it's a lot of squishies. Let's take a look. She did send me a photo of her collection, so I kind of know what's in here, but this is crazy. I have never seen some of these squishies before, so this is from squishyshop.com, I guess? And it is a mango cutie creative quality seal, it says. So I'm not familiar with all the squishy brands and shops, but this one looks amazing. Let's squish it. That is very satisfying. I'm gonna keep this one in the package for now. I do plan to do a big squishy collection later on, so maybe I'll take it out then, but I have a lot to look at today. So, there's the first one. Oh my goodness, a Punimada squishy! So you guys have been telling me to get a Punimada squishy, and of course, they are not sold here in Japan because, um, let's see. Who sells Punimada squishies? I know the answer to this one. Except maybe I don't. I feel like they're only available online. Well, for me in Japan. This is my first Punimata squishy! I asked you guys what squishies I should get, and a lot of you guys said Punimata, so I'm very, very excited. Look at this tag though, it's huge! Let's give it a squish. Oh wow, that's super soft. I love the design. It is a pearl chocolate, maybe? And. I love it, it looks amazing. She wrote on her note that she was sending back my Baymax. I helped her get some Tsum Tsums a while back and I got this one for myself, but I sent it to her by mistake, so he came back to me. Here's my Baymax. And this is from the Halloween series. Isn't he cute? And then, oh, here is another mango. I am loving these huge squishies, they are awesome. Like, does it smell fruity? I can't tell. But that is amazing. I kind of want to squish it to death, but at the same time, I want to keep it nice in its packaging, so I won't squish this one anymore. Oh, I think this is a Mother Garden squishy. I think, I don't know if I have a Star Donut, but I got the Halloween set last year, and I remember them being really, really nice. So it's not slow rising, but it is a squishy, and I love the pastry squishies. There's some figures in here, we'll take a look at that in a second. Oh my goodness, you sent me some line boxes! Oh, you're crazy! That says, I no un, love, luck of love. Okay. It is a steam bun. This is by Cutie Creative as well. Ah, it's super slow rising, and it's pearl. It's kind of a metallic, pearly color. I don't know if you guys can tell, that's really cool. So many squishies that I've never seen before. Here is, oh, Millie? Is this Millie the Whale? Isn't this an eye bloom squishy? I think it's a collaboration with a different shop, maybe? Oh, that is so satisfying. I noticed some of you guys were saying that you actually didn't like the slow rising squishies. And when I first started collecting squishies, slow rising squishies weren't a thing. It was more about getting the rare squishies. So 
I kind of understand that, but now that I own Slow Rising Squishies, they are so, whoa, they are so amazing. Okay guys, look at this. It is a huge lemon. Oh, it's a Plenty Mata Squishy. This is amazing. When life gives you lemons, squish them. That is awesome. And it comes with a little rubber tag too. That's so cute. Okay, I can already, I'm not even squishing it that hard. I can tell how soft it is. Oh, and there's the little monkey. I'm sure he has a name. I need to learn so much more about squishies. Okay, it's in the plastic, so I can't really squish it. I'll squish the edge here. Oh, wow, that is amazing. It is so big. I think this is probably one of the biggest squishies I own now. The cake was pretty big, but... Oh, does this smell like lemons? I think it does. That is awesome. Okay, this one may be my favorite. And then, is this another Pini Maru one? The design looks very familiar. Yeah, it's a Pini Maru. So, I actually tried to buy some of these, but they were sold out in most of the shops that I looked at. I don't know if they were just out of stock or if they were gone gone, but now I own a little tiger bun. I kind of want to take this one out. This one smells super nice. It kind of smells like vanilla. Oh, it comes with a little tag too. That is awesome. Do all the Pony Mounted Squishies come with tags? They do. That is amazing. So here it is. Let's give it a squish. Her. Super slow rising. I love it and it smells so good. Oh my goodness, I think this one is my favorite now. I keep changing my mind. And then here we have a little bun, a penguin bun. It says, cute penguin. Let's give it a squish. Oh wow, this one's actually pretty slow rising. Maybe not super slow rising, but it's soft. That's awesome. And then here we have a little eclair. And it's in a baggie, but I'm gonna give it a squish. Oh, this is really spongy. How many of you like squishing your squishies in the plastic? I know some of you have said that you don't like the plastic squishy sound, but I think it's kind of satisfying. Those are all the squishies. And then Linda is a crazy person and she sent me some blind boxes. The happy places, happy places? Yeah, happy places from Shopkins, the Petkins. And I was never really into Shopkins, but this series just stole my heart. I love it. I will be opening these up in a future video because this video is already getting kind of long. Let's see what else she sent me. Oh, she sent me Shopkins. I can make it. Beatos. Oh, I've seen these before. They call them aqua beads here in Japan, I think, but we definitely don't have Shopkins designs because Shopkins aren't that popular here. We have series two, I think one and two, but I don't know if we're gonna get many more because I feel like they're not that popular and that kind of makes me sad, but this is awesome and it's shaped like a can, so I'll be doing this in a future video as well. And here we have two mystery mini figures, Queen of Hearts and, oh my goodness, why can't I remember his name? He's from Hercules. Ugh, I can't remember his name, you guys will have to remind me. But, I got those two. I wonder if these are doubles that she sent me. She didn't mention anything about these, but I love the Funko figures. They are so cute, so these guys are going in with my collection. And then there's a little baggie here, I think. Oh, these are doubles from Blind Bags, maybe? Actually, I think she told me about these. Little Marie from the Halloween Blind Bag. Oh, and Ariel. Ariel is one of my favorite princesses. Ariel, Rapunzel, and then Tinkerbell. Tinkerbell's not a princess, but those are super cute. We both really, really love the Disney Store blind bags, so we trade our doubles a lot. Okay, and then, what is this? Actually, I think I know what this is. She sent me a set of what is all in here. I see Sailor Moon figures, and I see, ooh, a headless figure. And I see some card captor Sakura figures here. Oh, this is the one that sits on the edge of the cup. And there, my camera's in focus now. So let's take a quick peek at these. We'll go through these pretty quickly. Oh, here's another, oops. Card captor Sakura figure. This one too. I have not watched this anime in so long. I grew up with this anime, but I only really watched it when it was on TV. So I never actually kind of fully watched it. Here is this little dude. I can't remember his name. I should know it. And then let's see, what do we have here? We have the Sailor Moon ice cream series. I love these blind boxes. I never got any because, oh, she's missing her head because they were a little expensive if I remember correctly. And 
I don't, I guess Linda got the full set. Oh, these are so, so cute. I can't wait to take photos of them. Neptune, my favorite. She is so pretty. Oh, another card capture Sakura figure. Here is another Pluto. Let's see if I can fit all these on my hand. Let's see. Oh, it's Saturn. And I think that's it for the ice cream series. I don't know if that's a full set or not, but that is amazing. Look at that. I love them. And then we have another headless figure here. They look like teeny tiny nendoroids. Uh, let's see. Here we go. They're all mixed together now. Here are some Sailor Moon ones now. <laughs> you guys can take a peek. She's eating ice cream. There we go. Here they are in their uniforms. I don't even know if I'm in focus anymore, but this is crazy. Look at that. I don't even know whose stand goes with who now, but I'll figure it out somehow. I can look up a photo on the internet. That's what the internet's for, right? Anyway, oh my goodness. This is awesome. Look at all these cool squishies, guys. This huge lemon, the steam bun. Anyway, I need to say a big, big thank you to Linda. This is awesome, and you just wait until you get your package. I'm so glad my Baymax is now back with me. <laughs> I didn't even notice I put him in her box, but I'm glad he's back. Anyway, my friend Linda has been talking about making a YouTube channel with blind box opening videos, and I really think she should. So if you think she should too, give this video a thumbs up, and please leave me a comment down below and tell me which squishy you like the best or which squishy you own. And I will see you guys next time. Bye!